I grabbed four of these wooden houses from Dollar Tree. I just grabbed all different sizes. I went ahead and just put some heat on the back of them. This is going to just kind of melt the hot glue that Dollar Tree had put down to put these together. And it just makes it so much easier to take that backing off of the frame. Just do this to all four of them. And if you have any excess paper or parts of the backing, just use a sanding block and just go ahead and sand that until it is nice and smooth. Then you wanna grab a package of these craft sticks from Dollar Tree. I ended up not even using the whole packaging so just one package is enough so what you want to do is just use some Dollar Tree fix all adhesive glue and some hot glue and just start stacking those craft sticks right onto the backing of those houses again you want to do this to all four of them and it's okay if you have some excess along the edges of the backing because we're going to go ahead and just cut that down to size once everything is glued together. You do want to make sure that the glues completely adhere for about 10 to 15 minutes before you go ahead and start cutting off the excess. But again, once you have all those pieces put down, just go ahead and start going as close to the backing as possible. And then just go around the edges with a sanding sponge just to make sure everything is nice and smoothed down. Now for this part, you could choose any color that you would like for the background. I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and just painted the inside of those houses. Just used one coat. Once you have that covered, just allow those to dry. And then for the wooden frames, you could keep them as is. I wanted it to be a darker brown color, so I just watered down some brown acrylic paint and just began painting those frames. You wanna just make sure you paint the front, inside, and all around the outer edge of those houses. And then go ahead and allow those to dry. Next, you wanna just start assembling those frames to the backing all together. Again, using that Dollar Tree Fix All Adhesive Glue with a mixture of hot glue to place these back together. And again, you wanna make sure that you allow these glues to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now just go ahead and place the houses in whichever place you would like them to be. I then made these stencils off of my Cricut machine. If you don't have a Cricut machine, you could either hand write the letters down or you could find some stickers from Dollar Tree. Once I had my stencils put down, I just went over them with some uh, black acrylic paint and a Dollar Tree cut up sponge. Let that dry and then just start peeling off my vinyl. And for that last wooden house, what I did was grab some of this greenery garland from Hobby Lobby, just shaped it into a small wreath and then just twist around the edges to make sure that everything stays in a circle. And then you just wanna just hot glue that right into the center of the house. And then I just ripped up some of this homespun fabric and just made a small bow out of it and just hot glue that to the top of the little wreath. And then go ahead and place all of your pieces together and there you go guys this would be perfect for anywhere throughout your house this was super fun easy and inexpensive to create i hope it inspires you to create your own in your own special way if it did please be sure to sprinkle the love thank you so so much and i hope y'all have a good rest of your day thanks bye